on Batman laughs. Thus shocking him, then Batman grabs his mom's tombstone and slams him to the ground with it and beats him. Meanwhile, Bruce is back to his normal self thanks to a blood transfusion from the young Bruce Wayne. But you may be wondering, where is the Batman who laughs? Well, the story ends with the Batman who laughs in a dungeon in the Hall of Justice. Here's how Batman, here's how Batman beats him. Here's how Spider-Man wants to suffocate the Kingpin. So after the events of Civil War, Spider-Man revealing his identity and Kingpin sending a man who later shot Aunt May, thus putting her in the hospital and is now on the brink of passing away, Spider-Man sets off to Rikers Island to send a message to Kingpin. They meet face to face and Fisk is simply taunting him. And Peter stays quiet and attacks him with brute force. Fisk isn't phased yet and continues to taunt Peter and tells him to say something. So he does. He says that he wants to kill him before putting Aunt May in the hospital. But he knows that as Spider-Man, that's an insult to everything he stands for. So he takes off his mask and says that Peter Parker will commit the act instead, and Peter goes ballistic on Fisk, landing every single kick and dodging every single punch. He wasn't making any jokes, he was serious. And when Kingpin was on the ground, Peter told him to get up, but Fisk couldn't. So he pulled Fisk up, took the palm of his hand, pushed his teeth up, and made sure his wrist was pointed towards his throat, and tells Fisk that he will release all the web fluid necessary to make sure that his lungs are filled up with webbing, resulting in him suffocating and dying. But little did Fisk know that was only a threat. As Peter said that he will 100% do it on the condition that May actually does tie. But Peter got his satisfaction, and that's embarrassing Fisk in front of all these prisoners. Spider-Man swings away, and Fisk tries to limp away back to his cell in embarrassment. Here's how Spider-Man wants- Here's how Batman- Here's the comic of the Flash movie that is based off of. The comic is called Flashpoint, and it starts off with Barry waking up in a world where his mother is alive, his father died of a heart attack, the Justice League was never established, the Amazons and the Atlanteans are waging war against each other, and Barry is not the Flash, as he doesn't have any powers, but he has memories of his life as the Flash. It's one of the biggest superhero movie cliches. Destroyed cities, science experiments gone wrong, cops are against the hero, pep talks, a convenient connection between the villains and heroes, the love interest is held hostage, a geeky ally, traumatic childhoods, laser beams pointed to the sky, older characters giving advice, doppelganger villains, mindless henchmen, repeating the origin stories for well-known heroes, and big deaths. Here are the biggest- Do you like shallow villains or villains with death? Shallow villains are villains who just want to be evil for no reason. People like Joker and Goblin fall into that category, but also some bug villains like Yellowjack. But villains with depth are villains who you could potentially root for, like Thanos and Killmonger. However, every single time, even though they have a justifiable motive, their approach to the situation is wrong. So who do you like more, shallow or in-depth villains? Do you like- Here are the dumbest things Spider-Man has ever done in the movies. He gave Mysterio his Edith classes in Far From Home, and Spider-Man returned Norman Osborn's body into his home in Spider-Man 1, bringing four deadly villains in his apartment in No Way Home. He never questioned his symbiotic suit in Spider-Man 3, refusing to give his blood to Harry and tells him to, because look what happened when you didn't give him the blood. He was destined to die, so he might as well have given it a shot. And I guess this phase is well. Here are the dumb- Here are the evil versions of Superman. Misario is a teenage version of Clark, who got shot by a duplicatory ring. Brutal is an Earth 2 duplicate made by Darkseid. Overman is a Nazi race. Here are the 2022 movies that will feature MCU actors as of right now. Tom Holland will be in Uncharted. Dave Bautista will be in Knives Out 2. Chris Evans will be in Lightyear and The Gray Man. Chris Pratt will be in Jurassic World, Dominion, and the Mario movie. Gemma Chan, Harry Styles, and Florence Pugh will be in Don't Worry Darling. Chris Hemsworth will be in Escape from Spiderhead. Simu Lee was going to be in One True Love. Sebastian Stan will be in Fresh. But the one who takes the cake is Zoe Saldana, who will be in Avatar 2, The Adam Project, and this untitled. David O. Russell Project, which will also have Margot Robbie, Christian Bale, Anya Taylor-Joy, John David Washington, and Chris Rock. Here are the tw Here's what every Green Lantern Corps means. The Green Lanterns represent willpower, and this is the most difficult to map. The Red Lanterns represent rage, aggression, and frustration. The Orange Lanterns represent greed, wealth, and jealousy. The yep in this video, I'll be talking about why supervillain movies shouldn't be made. Due to these villains never being true to their character, the lack of an arch rival, and how companies use these movies as cash grabs. And I'll be... For bad intentions. Big kick just missed. Strong jab by Asa. Hard hook. Nice hands. Really connecting with the punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Looking for another one of those big right hands. Hit him with a jab. Awesome. Gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice front kick. He's doing some damage with those kicks. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Joe, his jab has been very effective in this fight. Good combinations landing here. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Joe, you're all over. The kicks to the body, a true factor in this fight. Good one, two. The right hook misses. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. There's a nice straight right hand. Softening his opponent up, trying to set something up here. Joe, he has eaten so many jabs tonight. But now his left eye is starting to swell up. Quick jab. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. He's fainting with that kick. Great punch by Awesome. He's able to duck under and finish the takedown. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Good jab by bad intention. Both men landing in that exchange. Awesome with the good straight. Timing his strikes nicely. Bad intentions gets caught with the left. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. Bad intentions gets caught by the uppercut. He clips him again. He's back up again. And he misses. He lands a hook from the clinch. And they move out of the clinch. Nice jab. Awesome with the combination. He's doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Oh, that's a big straight. Another solid head strike by Awesome. And he connects again. Very nice shots landing. Goes for a single. Oh! Tagged him. Man can see. Oh, big, big right shot. hand! Big shot! He hurt him! Looking to finish the fight! Oh, and he lands the head kick! Hard left hand. Good combinations. That's a big hook. Nasty uh, combinations here. Round one is complete. Bad intentions showing the effects of this great fight. He took a nasty cut right above the eye, and that is a bad spot for it to happen. He could easily leak down into the eye and impede his vision. Here's a... Round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Nice. Nice one, too. The cut on his cheek is getting worse. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. Left hand. They are exchanging here, Mike. Joe, mixing up his strikes very well. Joe, look inside the numbers. Significant strikes landed. Awesome with the jab. He's doing a really good job of timing the shots. He got caught, Mike. That's a slip. He ducks under and gets the takedown. And look at that, he's up. And there's a nice straight by Awesome. He clipped him again. Can't connect on the counter left. Nice Big kick. kick caught. Trying to get a head kick in. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Good straight by bad intention. Very nice. He got the clinch. He's working over under here. We have reached the midway point of this fight. Got the over-under here. And he pulls away. Nice jab. Just over two remain. Solid left by bad intention. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. He connects with the hook to the head. Again. 
just continuing to punish that wounded eye. And you can see that the swelling continues to get worse and worse. He's absolutely targeting that eye. You can clearly see, and he's landing combinations on it repeatedly. Awesome. Oh! oh! This could be oh! it. Oh! Gigantic hook that got him the win. Time now for our fight replay. And as we can see here in the replay, it was the hook that ended this fight. Let's go to a different angle. And here it is again. Bruce Buffer has...